where your host, Nikki, me, and Missy cover all topics 3D in depth. And in this episode of In Depth, we're going to focus on how anyone can take captures from the real world, be they simple smartphone images or more advanced Gaussian splats, and pull them into your holographic display. So today we're going to talk about three things. Uh, in general. Uh, RGBD capture is our first. And if you don't know what an RGBD is, you can go to visit the link in the description below to link to our blog post, which kind of explains the concept behind this in depth. But what we do want to say is any phone now can take 3D photos. You have a 3D camera sitting in your pocket and what you need to do, simply take a photo and then our software will convert that into an RGBD image that will then allow you to show and display holograms in a looking glass go. Yeah, and that means any image. That's any any image with your phone. Technically, any image you take off of your computer, off of a DSLR, anything. A baby photo, old archival photos, any images, photos of Taylor Swift. Put that into your looking glass. (laughs) All the Swifties. Yeah, so you can do that either by uploading the photo on our sharing website, blocks.glass, or if you have a Looking Glass Go, you can just use your mobile phone, connect to our Canyon mobile app that will let you to upload any photo. It doesn't have to be something you take. It can be an old archival photo of a baby photo, an old family photo, and that can be instantly converted into 3D and viewed on your looking glass. In fact, you don't even need to know what an RGBD is. We're just trying to tell you what it is. What's we next, want you Missy? To we, we want you to know. And what's but next, Missy? What's next is nerfs and Gaussian splats. And just like we want you to know about RGBDs and how they work, we also want you to know about how nerfs and Gaussian spots work. So that's why we're, we want you to check out the hour-long in-depth version of this that we have where we do go into what they are, why they're important. But in the meantime, we just want to guide you over to how you can, with your phone, your smartphone, just like your RGBD capture, take images of a scene and then you can, like using Polycam and Luma AI as an example, export that and pull them into your looking glasses by using our viewing software. But essentially nerfs are also a really incredible way to capture 3D scenes in a hyper-realistic quality and be able to view them on the looking glass. We have some tutorials on how to do that. Um, all the all the ways that you can capture um, nerfs in the real world of real people too. And I, you know, we just love we love seeing nerfs. We love seeing Gaussian's plats. So, and again, what do you use? Your phone and an app. Just your phone. <laughs> What's really cool about this is it's a little bit more detailed than RGBD capture. It captures a, a, a bit more information to build entire three D scenes that you can then also put in your looking glass. But the process is a little bit more advanced. Takes a little bit more of work. Uh, but you can use uh, our experimental uh, WebXR viewer, our Gaussian Splat viewer, and you can pull out images that you can also put into your looking glass for holograms of the real world. And it looks amazing. Incredible, truly. And what's the last the last thing, Nikki? <laughs> and then third, uh, light field photo. So this is something that really forms the basis of our technology here at Looking Glass. Almost everything eventually becomes a light field photo, photo whether that's an RGBD capture or a um, a splat. But the the really it's it's a format of a, a photo that we take and. Sort of in explaining this, what it really means to take a light field photo is to take multiple views of a 3D scene. Because if you didn't know, a looking glass allows anyone to be able to see 45 to 100 views of a 3D scene without glasses on the display, which is pretty darn magical if you ask me. And light field photo capture allows anyone to, using that same concept, take 45 to 100 views of a scene and using a very sophisticated camera rail, but what results in a super high quality resolution 3D photo, that's that's a light field photo. We're teaching you. We're showing you the way. We're showing you the way. If you want a more in-depth view, 
no pun intended, of what we just covered. We'll provide a link in the description of uh, us going into more detail on all of this, the blog post that inspired all of this, and also the tutorials that allow you to be able to capture in all the modes that we described today together in depth with Nikki and Missy. You're welcome. Something for everyone. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And we hope you enjoy this episode and look forward to the next one. Ciao. Ciao.